Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. And this episode is titled Squirrel, 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 Squirrel. 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 It's about uh, being distracted. Mm -hmm. That's what this uh, episode's all about. Being uh -huh. distracted. I, I can be very distracted. <laughs> it's why I write a manuscript. The sermon uh -huh. can go for a very long time. I think I think the folks that feel like they're being held hostage. Uh -huh. It's no longer a sermon. <laughs> this is a hostage situation. Pastor's <laughs> monologuing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he's why I pass out the manuscript, right? Yeah, exactly. In the back at church, people know how, how you know, when is, when is pastor getting to the end? Uh -huh. Anyway, today, see, I'm, I'm distracted, right? Here we go. Rabbit hole. Rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I never go down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Um, so we're going to look at the parable of the prodigal sons, plural, because mm -hmm. both sons are, uh. Are really distracted. Distracted, yeah, big mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they actually are focused more on the father's gifts mm -hmm. than the father himself, the giver of the gifts. Mm -hmm. And we see that right away with this parable. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have the younger son asking for what? Dad, I wish you were dead. I want my money. Pretty much. I it, want my inheritance now. Yeah, he's so he's you're dead to me. Yeah, he's killing off the dad in his heart. Yeah, he actually wants the father dead, or actually sees mm -hmm. him already dead, because mm -hmm. you get the inheritance after the pops dies, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Um, after pops dies, and uh, and so the father doesn't like reprimand him. No. Punish him. Right. He doesn't take him behind the woodshed. He Nothing. doesn't write him out of the will. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um. Uh, he, he actually goes along with the plan. And what's fascinating yeah. is that the elder son is quiet, mm -hmm. which means the elder son is actually wishing. Dad was dead, too. Yeah, exactly. His silence yeah. is something we don't talk about often. Yeah. But actually, he he's actually he likes this plan. because he, He's mm -hmm. going to get actually a bigger chunk of the inheritance. Because mm -hmm. the father gives out the inheritance to not only the younger son, but also to the older son. Yeah. The text says he gave it to them. Them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which we don't really talk too much about. No. But the silence of the elder son, it means that he's also killing dad off in his heart. Mm -hmm. well, Even though he stays put. He stays put, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so everyone thinks he's the really good son because he's helping dad on the farm. Yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, we, by we, all appearances, but, he looks like he's got it. Exactly. And he thinks he, he has it mm -hmm. together, yeah. which we'll talk about in a few moments here. Mm -hmm. uh, younger son, he takes uh, you know his, his chunk of change. And what mm -hmm. does he do? Goes off to a far country. Yeah, he doesn't mm -hmm. want to live underneath the father's uh, thumb anymore. Mm -hmm. Yep. He, uh, he wants to live life in his terms, which mm -hmm. is always a great idea. Mm -hmm. No, it's always a bad idea. <laughs> he wants to do it my way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Frank Sinatra way, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's, he's mm -hmm. listening to too much of Frank's... Li listening to too much Frank Sinatra. Old uh, boys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, so in this faraway country... Uh, mm -hmm. the younger son, he squanders the inheritance. He's, yeah. He spends it all. Just keeps you going know? to the ATM till there's nothing the, the, there. Yeah, I mean, everything's great, mm -hmm. you know, when money can be withdrawn from the ATM. But the mm -hmm. day that he goes to the ATM and there's no more money, uh, big trouble. Yep. It gets what do pretty I do? <laughs> rough and tough. Mm -hmm. And whatever friends he had, you know, he, he learns quickly they were fair weather friends. Mm -hmm. Only with him when he could spend money on them. Mm -hmm. uh, but once the money's gone, he has no one. And, you know, the well runs dry, mm -hmm. uh, but also the land is dry. Yep, there's a big famine. A big famine. So he can't even, like, depend on the land, like, mm -hmm. to pick and pluck the fruits and the veggies and the mm -hmm. nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, he can't even live off the land because if there there is nothing. The land ain't producing. Mm -hmm. Barren. Mm -hmm. Emptiness. Yeah. That's it. And so he finds a help wanted ad, right? And yep. he, uh, he gets a job. Yep. yep. What, what kind of job? McDonald's? Nope. I think this would be a micro dirty jobs kind of contender. Yeah. Um, yeah, he uh, he's feeding pigs. Uh-huh. Uh, this is probably, we know it's told within the context of of really a, a, a party. Jesus, mm -hmm. he's having a party. At the beginning of Luke 15, we're told that he's having a party and he's eating with sinners and tax collectors. And that's what the Jews are grumbling about. Mm -hmm. How and, dare he? Yeah. And so, and so really in a lot of ways, you could, you, probably this, this is a, a Jewish uh, son mm -hmm. who is now feeding pigs. And so you really can't get much lower than feeding pigs as a Jew. Mm -hmm. They're unclean. Yep. You're they're, not supposed to eat them, profane. touch them, anything. Anything. Yeah. No BLTs. <laughs> no bacon oh. at all. Oh. I love Bob the pig. He tastes so good. Bob the pig. <laughs> uh, my nephew will know what I'm talking about there. 
Uh, yeah, I call every pig Bob the pig. Um, so talk about going from, uh, you know, the palace uh-huh. uh, to pig poo and pods. Mm-hmm. You know you've hit you know rock bottom when the pig food, the pig slop, looks like filet mignon. Mm-hmm. That's how hungry this guy is. Um, you know he's not he's not even getting what he needs with this job. Mm-hmm. And uh, he so he comes up with a game plan though. Yep. You know as, as he as he's feeling the the rumblies in his tummy, uh, he thinks of the workers, the servants, mm-hmm. the slaves in his father's yeah. house, and how. They always have a full tum tum when mm-hmm. they go to bed. Bed. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have enough bread every single day. Mm-hmm. And so even then, though, he's thinking about the gifts. The gifts. He's not really thinking about the father. He's thinking about the gifts. Yeah. <laughs> How I can earn my way back into the father's house so I can start getting the the gifts from dad again. Yeah. So mm-hmm. he comes. So his game plan is what? Um, I'll go back to my dad and I and I'll say, you know, I was I sinned against you. Treat me as one of your Hired servants. Yeah, I'm, I'm unworthy you, to be you called your son. son. You know, uh, treat me as a hired servant. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so the idea is, you know, he's gonna, he's not gonna be in the mansion, mm-hmm. but, but he's gonna be in some, one of the slave quarters, mm-hmm. and uh, he's gonna work his way back into sonship. Mm-hmm. Um, and so uh, that's how he, he, he really thinks he can make himself worthy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so uh, first he'll start, start off as a slave, and he'll make his way as a son. Mm-hmm. Um, and he'll do it by his efforts, by his performance, by his works, by his actions, mm-hmm. by his do 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 doing. He'll make himself worthy. <laughs> exactly. Worthy to be back in the palace. Yeah, and, and on the way there, he'll have a full tum tum because that's mm-hmm. his only concern right now. Mm-hmm. I'm starving to death. He wants the edible gifts, basically. The, oh, <laughs> the, now, the now, gifts so you can eat, I'm sink your teeth in. Thinking of edible arrangements now. Thank oh, you. Oh my, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. He makes his way back to uh, back to home, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, I have this picture of the father, and like you know, this uh, rocking chair that he got from uh, Cracker Barrel, of course. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's on the front porch, just rocking away, and has his mm-hmm. binoculars. And one day, he ha- he actually sees the son approaching, and what does the father do? He gets up and runs to him. Runs to him. Well, now, the son was still a long way off. Yeah, this is important though. Yeah. When the younger son left mm-hmm. the home. He not only turned his back on the father, he turned his back on the entire community, mm-hmm. the village. Yeah. He was not only saying, I hate you, pops, but I hate you, village. Mm-hmm. And so the father doesn't want the village people to get their hands on the younger son, because if they do, oh, game over. He's toast. They're going to rip him apart. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so the father doesn't want that. He wants the, he wants the son alive. He loves mm-hmm. the son. Yeah. And he proves that not even with words. With actions. Yeah. He runs to him. I mean, showing his legs, which would be really scandalous at that time. I mean, stately, rich men don't run, much less lift up their yeah. ornate robes to run to a son who smells of pig poop. Yeah. I mean, talk about humiliating yourself. Yeah. But it was all worth it because yeah. he, he wants he wants his son back and, yeah. and he's back. Yeah. So he gives him this huge hug and kisses him and just is so, so excited to see him. Yeah, and I, I just I, I picture him uh, just with those arms spread out, protective mm-hmm. wings, mm-hmm. embraces him, mm-hmm. tears rolling down his cheeks, mm-hmm. and kissing this son that uh, reeks to high heaven, mm-hmm. and he just mm-hmm. doesn't care. Yep, because uh, his son is is, is alive. Yeah, and uh, and within the loving embrace of the father, mm-hmm. uh, the younger mm-hmm. son he drops a part of his plan. He realizes yeah. actually his game plan has just gone up in smokes. Mm-hmm. In smoke. Mm-hmm. His become it's, a servant plan. It's not going to work. Yeah. So he says, within the loving embrace of the father, what mm-hmm. I have yep. sinned against heaven and against you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. So he knows he's unworthy, mm-hmm. uh, but he's still a son. Yeah. And. Uh, and the father proves it by, uh, you know, shrouding this son's shame with a royal mm-hmm. robe, mm-hmm. Uh, securing uh, the son's status as a son mm-hmm. with the royal ring, mm-hmm. and then uh, restoring, mm-hmm. you know, his room in the in the mansion mm-hmm. uh, with uh, with the royal flippy floppies, mm-hmm. the royal sandals. O- yeah. Only, 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 only sons wore sandals. I mean, mm-hmm. anyone part of the family wore sandals. I mean, slaves did not wear sandals. Mm-hmm. I mean, everything about this wardrobe 
says, you are my... Beloved son. You are my beloved son. You belong. Yep. Yeah. And then he throws a party. Mm -hmm. I mean, already, I mean, if, if, if this kid doubted that he was a, a kid in the father's house, I mean, the party's going to really scream mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And he slaughters the fattened calf for him. Mm -hmm. He goes all out. All out. Spares no expense. Mm -hmm. And he invites the entire community, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and he invites everyone, uh, you know, because everyone is invited. Mm -hmm. Everyone is welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't. He doesn't pick and choose like, okay, this person's worthy. This person, person's unworthy. This, 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 this person smells bad. This, this person smells good. Mm -hmm. You know, he, mm -hmm. he invites everyone because everyone's actually unworthy. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the message that this party sends. Yeah. That there is no one that can make himself or herself worthy. Everyone's unworthy, and he welcomes the unworthy. He's here for the unworthy. Mm -hmm. That's what this father is saying. And he has plenty for the plenty. unworthy. Yeah. There, he, He's not going to run out of any of the food, any of the party provisions. No. He's not going to run out of anything. So yeah. he doesn't have to, you know, pick and choose who comes. Because there's no scarcity with him. None. This, uh, this None. abundant father. But the uh, the elder son, he doesn't recognize that quite yet. He's, he's out working in the field. Because, you know, that's mm -hmm. what he does. He worky, mm -hmm. worky, worky mm -hmm. all day long. Yeah. Because uh, he thinks he needs to claw and climb his way to the top. Mm -hmm. He has to earn every little bit. Mm -hmm. Because for him, life in the father's house, he doesn't get it. Right. There's abundance, but he he really thinks there there is scarcity. Mm -hmm. It's a zero sum game, mm -hmm. and uh, and he's living life as though there's only a finite amount of stuff, mm -hmm. and he has to actually like work for whatever he can get, mm -hmm. whether it's approval or money or anything of yeah. the father's love. That he's got it. It's based on his performance. Performance. So he's viewing his dad basically as his employer, his boss. He's living like a slave, not a son. Mm -hmm. He really is. Yeah. And so he he's leaving, uh, you know, the fields because you know it's five o'clock and uh, he's punching out, mm -hmm. and uh, the workday's over, and here's all this ruckus, all mm -hmm. all this noise, uh, and he wonders what's what's happening, and so a servant tells him, oh, you know, your 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 brother. The one that that was gone, well, he's back, and mm -hmm. your father is is, is is so excited that that he who was lost is found, he who mm -hmm. was dead is now alive. Yeah, and now and now we're partying. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so he won't go to the party though. He goes and pouts outside. <laughs> yeah, no party for him, only pouting. Yeah, and he pouts because he's deemed his brother unworthy. Mm -hmm. You know, he's done all the wrong things, and from his perspective, now this younger brothers being rewarded yeah. for doing all the wrong stuff he who has done all the right stuff he should be the one rewarded mm -hmm. and so the father he goes out to him to, and he begs him please with him hey come to the party stop pouting and start partying with mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. but then he says what oh, all this time i've worked for you and <laughs> you know you didn't even give me one goat one kid to uh to celebrate with my friends. Yeah, see, he wants a party where he gets mm -hmm. to uh, have a bouncer. Mm -hmm. And that bouncer, uh, you know, he tells the bouncer exactly who's allowed in. Mm -hmm. uh, only the worthy. Mm -hmm. And so he he, he sets, uh, you know, basically the, the standard for, for who mm -hmm. is worthy mm -hmm. and who is unworthy. Mm -hmm. And only the worthy people are going to be at his party. Only the people like him. Like him. Who have it all together. All together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it made all the right decisions. Uh -huh. uh, you know, did life the right way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, earn their way into this party. Mm -hmm. uh, but all the losers, they, they're on the outside. And the bouncer will make sure that they're on the outside. Because mm -hmm. none of the valuable food should be spent on them. Oh, Never. no, they're, they're not deserving. Nope. <laughs> nope, they're unworthy. <laughs> and so and so then the you know, what's interesting, too, is he never calls uh, calls his dad, dad. Yeah. And he never calls his his brother, his brother. He, mm -hmm. he says, uh, this son of this yours. son of yours. Yeah, so he he even even the language of the elder mm -hmm. son, he's completely cut himself off from the the father and his son and the family. Mm -hmm. He he has completely divorced himself from the family, turned mm -hmm. his back on the family. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the father, you know, he's like, whoa, 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 what? What are you talking about? Everything that is mine is already yours. Before he was even conceived, it was already his. Already yeah. his. Yeah. Everything was already his before he could even lift a finger and put in a a, a good work day. A nine before to five, he could walk. Before he could walk, <laughs> you know, before he could do anything, well, everything was already his—a gift. Uh huh. And remember, this is not like any 
other house on planet Earth. This is, remember, this is not about an earthly father. This is about God, our heavenly father. Mm -hmm. And his mansion, you know, we can't outgive him. No, we can't. And and even, you know, what the what the younger son squandered, you know, it, 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 he... <laughs> He had covered. The father had covered mm -hmm. and some. Mm -hmm. He still had plenty of clothes plenty. to clothe him in and plenty of food for the party. Because in the mansion, it's not a, it's not, there is no scarcity. It's only plenty. Mm -hmm. Only abundance. You know, that, that, that his well can't ever run dry. Mm -hmm. That is a free flow of gifts. And the father is just, it's just you know, he's begging the, the elder son, just you know, live in that flow of my giving. Mm -hmm. Unconditional, no strings attached, giving. And, you know, his giving is not a trickle. It's a tsunami. Yeah. It's a Niagara Falls amount of gifts. <laughs> the father's like, be filled. <laughs> yeah, be filled, be filled. Um, and, uh, and, and, and so uh, we don't really know what the elder son does. But, but, but really what the, the father wants the elder son to know mm -hmm. is that, you know, th there really is only uh, one party, mm -hmm. his party. And everyone's unworthy and everyone's welcome. And, uh, and so, so, so quit the pouting and start the partying. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, you know, this is so true with, with us as, you know, members of the Christian church, that, uh, that we have a father that just delights in us. And he is nothing but a perpetual gushing fountain of mm -hmm. gifts. And he's already given the greatest gift, namely his son. His son. And, and, you know, he who is, you know, worthy at the core of his being, this, this Jesus, mm -hmm. he actually makes himself unworthy. He, he lowers himself, not into pig poo, but into our sin and death. He dies on the Friday we call good. And then he rises so that he can exalt us. We who are unworthy, he exalts us, right? Mm -hmm. Carries us on his, on his back. What a piggyback ride. To the Father's table. Yeah. Where we get to actually feast on him, our fattened calf. Right. Yeah. We get to sink our teeth into not scarcity, but abundance. Yeah. We get to taste and see Abundance. We get to love abundance, live abundance, be abundance. Mm -hmm. It's so yeah. great, and and we're and we're given such a wardrobe. We are oh. in the waters of holy baptism. We're given that robe of Jesus, um, just like that younger son. We're given this beautiful robe that that shows how worthy we are because of Jesus. We're given um, the, the name of the Father, yeah. of the name of the Father, Son, and Holy yeah. Spirit, which is is like that signet ring saying, "You belong." Um, and there's a room with our name on it that our Lord Jesus has mm -hmm. gone to prepare for us. So that's our cool sandal. It's a cool sandal fashion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, from slaves to sons and daughters, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, yeah. you, you can't ask for a better rags to riches story. And it's not, it's not just, it's, it's not just a story. It's true. It's yeah. true. You yeah. are a son, you are a daughter in the father's house. And in this, and, and in this house, the Father's house. There isn't scarcity. There's plenty, abundance. Only abundance. And yeah. and and let's let's live like that. Wait, I mean, you mean we get to live in abundance every single day? Yeah. We like do. this day is full of we, abundance. We, we, this we, moment. We can't outgive our giver God. Exactly. And so every time you go to the Lord's Supper, mm -hmm. uh, we're no longer distracted. Our, our mm -hmm. focus is on this Father. Mm -hmm where we get to sip and sup the sun sacrifice. Mm -hmm. We get to taste and see abundance. Mm -hmm. We get to receive from the giver himself. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. It is. So let's, you know, just party in the father's house. Woo! <laughs> By his wounds. We are healed. So long. Ciao.